All right. So as usual, a uh, little bit more technical problems on my end. I should uh, have a new camera here soon. Have the system a little bit set up a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to keep the chat open for about an hour. Um, see if some people actually stop in. I'm uh, I'm Rob. I'm Rob the accountant. And uh, this stream is everything business. It's going to take some time for people to find us and uh, get on board. But while I'm sitting here, I have um, a DBA uh, from Dutchess County uh, in New York State. And... What I thought would be good <clears throat> is if I just went through it real quick and showed you a couple things on how you can set up your business. And if you call your local county clerk, uh, they usually have these forms in some capacity. And, you know, they may direct you to an online portal where you fill them out, but they're, they're pretty simple uh, to complete. And then once you complete it, you take it to a bank and uh, while you're uh, when you go to the bank with the form uh, that's been stamped by your local county it will allow the bank to allow you to open up a separate business account now that bank account will still be individually uh, tagged to you and uh, you know so that as an individual it's it's still your account but it's separate from let's say the account that you're paying your mortgage on uh, your health insurance and all that good stuff so um, you know I'm just gonna open it you know feel free to jump in people and uh, ask any questions you might have anything business related and see what we can do to give you a simple answer so here you can see uh, pretty clear uh, what it's says it's a certificate of doing business under an assumed name because you just don't want uh, your name and your social security number and you know you don't want everything out there in public view we're kind of in a public view but you can still hide it a little bit and this is one of those ways so as an individual you don't have to have your personal persona uh, as the forward-facing aspect of your business so <clears throat> you just certify your name uh, they generally ask for your age. Each state may be different. I know this is in New York, so 18 is where it seems to be. You give them your address and, you know, see if uh, you see these are all form fill. Um, and, you know, one of the things they uh, will ask you is to make sure the name you want. Is not taken so you know John doofus roofing and bowling and that's simple as it is and blah 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 you know whatever your date of birth is that'll be between you and the county uh, your city your town and you know, each county will, um, I think in New York, they have the technical thing is you're supposed to have one of these in every county. I'm not sure every person with a DBA in New York does, but, you know, you wouldn't file their form in, let's say, uh, Erie County or Wayne County because um, they're going to have their own form for their county. <clears throat> so, and they generally want you to you know do business in the county that you're filing the form in and then here uh oops yeah look at see when i got it wrong so this is your name and then down here is your assumed name been a while and there you go now yeah, let's switch it off There you go. 
And, you know, I don't, I, I, I have a DBA up here in Western New York and I, I didn't, I didn't have this on the DBA. So, um, I don't, I don't know if, you know, Dutchess County has a different thing. You'd have to probably call them and ask them that, you know, that's a good thing is you can always give them a call. Um, you know, here it is right there, the phone number and tell them what your intent is. And, um, generally when you go into the county to file this form, uh, the people there are notaries. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, well, they want a notary here, but not everyone's going to want a notary with the DBA. I know up here in Western New York, we don't, you know, I think they want to know the person who's signing it if you're filing it, but I'm not sure it's a prereq everywhere in every situation for you to have it notarized. But in Duchess's County, they want you to take a little oath here and they want you to sign it. And then when you file it, you know, they sometimes charge for a copy and then you just take that copy and uh, you go to your bank and you're all set and then you start your business from there. It's pretty easy. So, uh, one more time, see, you got your uh, certificate of doing business. Um, they generally want your name, 
They want to know that you're over 18, where you live, city and town, uh, and if you intend to do business now. You know, I don't think that's a re, um, I don't think they can not accept your DBA. Um, I, I, you know, like if you live in another part of New York and you want to do business in Duchesses, and I don't think they can, I don't think any of that matters. You know, I think they just want to know. So I always just find it's best to be honest with what your situation is. And then if something else is going to come about because of it, they're going to indicate that to you and you'll be able to address that right there. And they'll be able to tell you what steps you need to do going forward. And there you go. Well, since nobody's here, I, one of the things that I uh, I thought, you know, I like to I like to rant about, and I want to make sure I'm not blowing everyone's ears about. Um, but one of the things I like to rant about is And, um, well, I, I was actually bringing up gambling losses, but I don't think my screen is going to, uh, do it because I had it set up on something else that so have to do it. So let me, let me, let me do that real quick for everybody. So we'll get our uh, window capture and we'll close that one. We just close that down. Okay, so, you know, it's just interesting with everything is that, you know, it's one more deduction. And what I mean, it's not really a deduction. But if you win $10, you can offset it with $10 worth of losses. And if you have uh, watched any of my previous videos, it just, it just seems like sometimes... The things that drain your money uh, that you work hard for, you know, your 401k and gambling, all the things that seem for you not to win, you know, th there's some tax benefit for it. So it's like, uh, you know, go out and lose every day of the week and you'll save a couple bucks on your taxes. Uh, my thought is if you, uh, just keep all the money yourself and bet on yourself you know i think you'll get much farther you know that's how i believe uh in that so you know i don't know if people can see this or they're gonna you know you can do it but you can you can find the website and read through it and it's it's a it's it's right there so when you go to the lottery today and you go to the racetrack and you go to the casino and you win and uh, generally here in New York, it's anything over $600. I think it's less at the casino. Um, you have to provide your ID and your social security number. And they give you a, uh, a tax document. Or they mail you one. Or they generate one there. But they know it's there for you. And you bring it here. 
uh, to your tax returns. Um, but a lot of people who gamble also have uh, losses. So it just seems like, you know, they reward uh, the bad behavior and not necessarily the good behavior. So if you look at things like not gambling and just if you're going to gamble say hey i'm going to go out and try to invest into something uh with my money i've got a few extra dollars because you know i didn't have a 20 percent loss in my 401k last year so my employer could give me an extra three percent um then you might be able to buy something that might help you make a little bit more money uh maybe not even the next 60 days but uh, might make you uh, a couple bucks in the next six months Excuse me. I gotta work on getting better with switching through uh, the broadcasts on thing. But while we're on the IRS website, let me show you another little check, people. Uh, if you're really in a place where there's there's just nobody to help you, uh, you can come here and you can search for the free file links. Just go free file. Here you go, and uh, there it is. It's closed at the moment. It'll be open. It'll be open here shortly. Uh, computers are resetting, uh, but you can come here and uh, you can download the forms because they're always here in the in the database. You know the regulations and the forms that go along with them. And uh, like I showed you with the DBA form, it's just, you know, type in a lot of it's self-explanatory. Um, and then over here, it, you get to go to other links. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, it it's depends on your situation, what you're looking for. And I still prefer f to hire somebody because then you have somebody between you and the IRS. But, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, um <coughs> then uh this is this is it i don't want to use the online tool lookup because you know the big providers and i won't mention their names uh they have you know all paid for their position within that search query and i just i just think that maybe if you're going to go somewhere your local people um, or somebody you can speak with, somebody who you can talk to, have a conversation with, uh, and who wasn't going to whack you. You know, uh, your employer reports to the IRS, your 401k reports to the IRS, your life insurance company reports to the IRS, your bank reports to the IRS, everybody reports to the IRS, and, and then they say, well, at the end of the year, uh, you go out there and you get whacked again. And so we all have to do it, it, it sucks. But here are some of the tools. And uh, if you ever got questions, uh, what I think frustrates me uh, as a professional sometimes is 
uh, the IRS is the source. So if there's going to be a proclamation or some deviation from normal operations, it's going to be here. They're going to put it out in the press release. There's going to be some some notice. You know, there's going to be what they are because they're the drafters of the information and they're drafters of the source code that's, you know, taking all the money out of everywhere that we're putting our money. So it becomes a little frustrating sometimes when, you know, you're getting the links from the clickbaiters who are just trying to uh, sell things one way or another. Maybe it's gold. You know, that's another one. That's a funny one. The gold. Uh, before it was gold, but now they've they've evolved into traditional gold IRA. So, um, you know, everyone's got a shtick and uh, you should just make sure that you're getting your information from the source and the source is always the IRS uh, when it comes to what's happening with your paycheck and what you're going to owe at the end of the year. Well, I'm thinking they're going to wrap it up here. Um, I was just jumping in on uh, the live stream tonight, and it is my intention still to be back here on Sunday night uh, at 10 p.m. You know, the economy's changing. Gas is going back up to almost $5. And, you know, refunds are going to be substantially less this year. Things are going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be awful. But I think the most important thing you could do is just figure out, you know, how do you get off the treadmill? And, you know, I showed you the DBA. You can look at that. That's just one simple thing. You put that up, it allows you to get a bank account. You can leverage that to a website. You can go out there and market that to the local community. You can meet people, talk to them, and forge relationships. And, Sooner or later, someone's going to give you a couple of dollars and cents to do something for them. And so, and then when you do that, then you can go out and you can buy more equipment and more things that you need. And it's this never ending cycle, which is why you see so many people with businesses that have so much junk because, you know, they're trying to make more money. And those purchases are actually good because, you know, for the folks who just do want to just go to work every day, you know, there's got to be some types of jobs. And the more John Deere sells lawnmowers, the more there's jobs. So um, I'm Rob, the accountant. I hope that, um, you know, I can get some people here to join us on Sunday and ask some questions. But we'll keep this going for as long as we need to. Um, I know that it takes a lot to pull the trigger. I got a lot of friends still today uh, on the fence. It's, it's hard uh, to get off that. But... With a little bit of encouragement, and with a little bit of uh, advocacy, and somebody to talk to, um, I think anything's possible. So, uh, thanks for watching tonight, and I hope we can see you on Sunday at 10 p.m. Uh, have a good night, and good night.